This way to the sea. This way, and you're on the shore where the silver boats come and go. You'll find ebb and flow. The tide may be high or low. The sun has a golden glow. This way, where the silver boats come and go, you know you can always find ebb and flow. Ebb knew when winter was on its way. She always felt the urge to snuggle up with Flo in the morning. Ooh, cold nose. Flo always knew when winter was on its way too. <sighs> morning, Ebb. Granny's got a surprise for you today. So that morning. Ma rode Flo and Ebb to Grandma's house. Ebb was very excited. She wondered what Granny's surprise could be. Perhaps a plate of her special biscuits. Ebb's favorites. It wasn't long before Ebb found out. Come on, Ebb. We want to see. This was one surprise she didn't want. Oh, Ebb, you look so smart. Oh. Things couldn't be worse. Later that day, Flo went to the store for Ma. She couldn't wait to show everyone Ebb's new winter coat. Come in, Ebb. Oh, oh look at you, Ebb. Don't you look jolly? Ebb was in such a hurry to leave the shop, she didn't see Bird. <coughs> Ebb tried to call Bird back, but it was too late. Ebb's coat had scared Bird off. There you are. Want to go to the beach? All Ebb wanted was to be rid of the new coat. <coughs> off you go, Ebb. <laughs> the more Ebb chased her squeaky ball, the hotter she got. was too much for Ebb. She had to cool down. Oh no! Your new coat! Oh, look! The water stretched it. Flo was right. Granny's surprise was ruined. But oh. Bird was very happy. She had Ebb back. The next morning, winter's chill was back again. Ebb's winter coat had now become Ebb's winter blanket. She still felt the urge to snuggle up with Flo. But now she warmed her nose up first. Ooh! Things couldn't be better. <laughs>